Hi, I'm Jim Terrell. I'm here to show you um, what you should do um, should you happen to find that your paddle has water in it. Um, we have a video out to show you how to detect where the leak is coming and how to go about fixing it. But now with our newer models, the oval tapered shafts and round tapered shafts, uh, I want to show you what you need to do. Um, first thing you want to do is when you get a quick blade paddle, it shouldn't leak. And um, if you had a dealer put it together for you, be sure you notify your dealer to get it back to them. They'll get it back to us and we'll sort out what happened. Um, if you've had your paddle for longer than a year and for some reason it was fine for a long period of time and then now you find you're getting a little water in it, um, we do offer that service. You can send it back to us. We'll troubleshoot it, find out what's happening. We can get it fixed for you, get it back to you. However, if, um, if you don't want to be without your paddle and you really want to tackle it yourself, it's a pretty simple fix and I'll show you how to go about it. So. The first thing you want to do again is find out where the water is coming in and to do that I usually take it from a cool environment like inside like this, take it out, put it in the sun and the heat, um, the sun when it shines on a black paddle the, the air inside the shaft will expand slightly and typically you'll see it um, start, little water start to you know come out somewhere. The areas we've found that it can occasionally come out maybe along this this edge here possibly if you've had some um, excessive hitting on the side of the rail of your board, uh, possibly around this joint, depending on how well it was put together in the first place. And every once in a while, occasionally, it can come in somehow from the handle end. Um, if that wasn't set properly, but chances are, if, um, if it's been fine for a year, um, I doubt that, that that's the case. Um, more often than not, it'll be coming from uh, the edge or around this um, joint. There is a carbon ferrule inside here, but sometimes all it takes is one teeny little um, hairline uh, fracture in the seam or maybe inside that didn't get, has a slight void and water can, you know, you fall in the water with a hot paddle, it contracts the air inside and will pull a little bit of water in uh, each time you go in the water. So that's typically how water can get in um, if it does, or even somehow condensation over time, somehow maybe couldn't collect a little water in there. but. That's typically not the case. What you'll need to um, fix a minor leak is um, some super glue that you can get at Home Depot or any hardware store for that matter. And a little masking tape just to do a nice clean job. I'll show you how to do it. So I'm gonna mark um, just a couple typical spots where you might have a slight leak. I'm gonna put a little dot there, a little dot there, and then one right here in the, um, the seam. Let's just say that's where your leak was. So it'd be, maybe somewhere around the seam, somewhere along in here and here, and somehow getting out, you know, down and around that uh, ferrule. I can assure you that all the materials in this paddle are um, closed cell, like the, the foam core inside the blade is a closed cell. It's like an expanded plastic, so water in there is not gonna hurt anything. Um, the one thing you'll need to do before you do your repair is if there's any excessive water in there, you wanna get it out. And the best place to do that is you're gonna drill a teeny little eighth inch hole right here um, in the center of this spine. This is a hollow, spline that goes down. Um, as long as you put your hole two inches down from the, the neck, that's about the lowest point. You'll be able to let all the water drain from there and that's an easy place to fill back up with a little bit of epoxy once you do get it sealed up. So, um, so that's where you're going to want to drill a teeny tiny little hole. So you can see how small of a drill I've got here. That's um, not even an eighth inch drill. It's um, actually a 332nd drill. And I'm going to put it right on the peak of that spine and very carefully drill into it there. And now we'll be able to dump the water out. And then you can see right there, you can drain the water out. So what I like to do is take a little bit of masking tape and mask off um, next to your seam, just so that the only thing showing is the seam. Chances are if your uh, paddle is have a small leak or pinhole in the seam, um, it's probably been hit on the board a bit. So usually a little sanding like that will help um, clean up that, um, that edge. And then you just take a little bit of super glue and you'll see a teeny little hole. And super glue is actually quite good because it likes to wick. And while you're at it, you may as well just do the whole seam very carefully. And you'll see any little pinhole like that will actually, the, the super glue likes to wick right into that and fill it right up. 
and then you should be fine for quite a bit. And um, I like to just let it sit there for a second. Then you can take a soft um, cloth and wipe it clean. Um, just a little shop rag like this. Because once it's wicked in there and filled that, it's, um, it's fine now. And then just take your tape off. Throw that away. And um, you can see a little bit extra. I'll wait till the glue dries and then I'll get that last little bit of tape off. But that should get you back on the water and, uh, and fix the problem for you. The paddle's good and dry and you fix the other small pinholes in your paddle. The last thing you wanna do is close up your, um, your hole. What I do is I put a piece of tape over the hole and pull it back just so that my hole's exposed. Then you short, shoot your super glue in here Put the tape over it now. Make sure you hold the paddle upside down like this so that the glue runs back into the hole. Now you can use epoxy if you like. We usually use epoxy, but super glue will do the trick too. And um, prop it up so that that stays really flat to the table or level. That way the glue will find itself back into that little hole. You can sometimes lift it up and down like this just to make sure it fills out fine. And use something to prop your paddle up a little bit. And then let it sit for a good hour. Go have lunch, dinner, whatever, then come back. Dry, come back, peel your tape off, and you'll see that um, your hole is filled. Should your paddle ever leak again, and you decide you want to fix it yourself, you can always use the same drill and re-drill right where you filled it the last time. Um, some people don't even bother to um, fill that hole. They just um, take a small um, sticker, a little piece of electrical tape, and put a piece of tape over it. That way they've got access to drain it again if they want. Structurally, it doesn't hurt anything. Um, you know, we typically, when we sell the paddle, it just so happens our label, um, the little round oval label is usually right there. Um, and um, you can use any little round sticker or decal piece of tape to um, cover that hole up again if you don't want to glue it permanently.